Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to show you guys how to spawn and kill Empress of Light in Terraria. So the first thing we're going to need is a prismatic lacewing butterfly from the hallowed biome and you capture that using pretty much just a normal net but you have to allow it to spawn of course and try not to kill it by accident. They're pretty rare so make sure you use any buffs you can to increase minion spawn. You can try and get these in your own biome that you make yourself. And if you want to know how to make your own biome, make sure you check out our other video on the topic. You want to go to your biome and using pearl stone blocks, obviously. And then when it spawns between half past seven and 12 o'clock midnight, then you can go and spawn the Empress of Light. Now, don't forget, after 12 o'clock, the butterflies don't spawn anymore. So you have to be careful not to miss your opportunity. So when, what we're going to be using for the Empress of Light here today is we're going to be using the Stardust Dragon Staff and we're going to be using the Legendary Star Wrath and we're going to be using Hallowed Armor along with the Brainic Fusion item from the Brainic Cthulhu. As you can see, oh yeah, to spawn the, the Empress of Light themselves, you need to let the butterfly go and then attack the butterfly and kill it. As you can see here, I wasted a couple of them and I did that technically on purpose to show you that it can be a wasted if, you, if you're not in the hallowed biome. Make sure that you're in the hallowed biome if you want to spawn the Empress of Light. Now, I mentioned the armor that I'm using is pretty much based around dodging her attacks. So I'm using the Brain of Confusion from the Brain of Cthulhu and I'm using the Hallowed Armor. When you attack her with the Hallowed Armor, you actually dodge the next attack. So it's very useful, especially since she's so strong. I'm using a lot of buffs. Now you can do this a lot easier if you have better weapons. I'm using slightly lower level weapons in order to just show you how to do this from a you're not overpowered point of view. You can become overpowered from this and actually kill her very easily using the Zenit. But the most important item in this is the tree. The tree mount that I'm on is pretty much the fastest mount in the game. Build a sky bridge and literally run from left to right on the sky bridge as fast as you can while trying to hit her at the corner of the screen. When she shoots her lasers, a lot of the time you'll pretty much dodge a lot of them because they'll be so fast they won't reach you and obviously heal up if you can whenever they do actually hit you, which won't be that often. She's going to do a lot of damage to you. And as you can see, we got really close to dying ourselves, but we killed her. The tree is the most important thing, though. The tree is only available in master mode. So if you are in master mode, use the tree. And I'll show you how to get the tree in another video. And if you are, if you can't get the tree or you don't have time to get the tree, you can get the goat skull and use the goat. That's pretty easy to get. You get that from the wall of flesh in master mode only. And if you're not in master mode, if you're in any other mode, use the unicorn mount. That's the best mount that you can get in all of the other game modes. So use the tree if you can get it. It's the fastest one in the game. Use the goat if you can't get the tree for whatever reason. And the goat's a pretty common drop from Wall of Flesh. And if you are in expert mode or normal mode or journey mode and you don't have a master mode turned on for journey mode, you pretty much use the unicorn mount. So those are the mounts that you use. And the trick is pretty much, or not the tricks, but the strategy is pretty much run from left to right on a sky bridge. And she will be able to hit you but you'll have enough time to recover and to heal, especially if you use the armor that I've been using in this. Obviously, I'm using a lot of buffs. I'm going to show you what kind of buffs you should use for Terraria in general in future videos. I'm not going to show you eight individual buffs. Use as many as you can, pretty much. Like, the 100% make sure that you are prepared for the fight. It's a tough fight, even if she is quite predictable with her attacks. And honestly, one of the most fun fights in the game. Of course, there is Empress of Night Daytime. Now that's a different story, which I'll show you in the future. But for now, thank you very much for watching today's video. 
I will see you again in the next one. Leave me in the let me know in the comment section how you take on Empress of Light and what you thought of today's video. And one last time, ta-ta!